Today, I'm going to show you how you can create your very own Google Dropbox using a script that was developed by fellow ITR team Michael Price. Now, the great thing about this Dropbox is that anybody will be able to upload files to your Google Drive, whether or not they have a Gmail or Google account. So you can actually have people, anonymous people, go in and upload PDF documents, video, images. You just have to give them the link, they go to it, and they upload it, and it appears in your Google Drive. Uh, so as an example, right here is a site that the script um, created. It asks for your name, so the person who's uploading will put in their name. They'll then click on Choose File, and for demonstration purposes, let's just upload this H21 logo image. And then they click Upload File. After having pressed that button, they get a message that says File Uploaded Successfully. Now to see if this worked, if I go back to my Google Drive, you can see in my Google Dropbox folder that image file that we just uploaded is appearing right here. So anyone without having to sign in can upload uh, things to your Google Drive. Uh, Michael Price developed this for students so they can actually turn their work into their teachers uh, using this script and it just automatically appears in the teacher's Google Drive. So I'm going to show you how to create this right now. First thing you want to do is go to the website www.tinyurl.com slash Google Dropbox script. Once you type out that URL and click enter, you are going to be taken to Michael's Work Collector script. I am going to quickly switch accounts here. You probably will not have to do that. And this is read only. So you'll, the first thing you want to do is go to File, Make a Copy. And this copy will be created in the root level of your Google Drive. It renames it, Copy of Work Collector. You can rename that if you'd like. But the first thing I'm going to do is go to line 12. And I am going to rename Work Collector to a different name. Uh, this is going to be the name of the folder that's created uh, once someone uploads to your Google Drive for the first time. So if you just leave it as Work Collector, the name of the folder will be called Work Collector. But I'm going to rename it to Google Dropbox 2. Once I've renamed that, I can go up here to Publish, Deploy as Web App. Project version is new. I'm going to execute the app as myself. Now here's the important part. Who has access to the app? I'm going to go down here and choose anyone, even anonymous, and I'm going to click Deploy. It's going to ask for authorization. I'm going to click Continue. I'm going to click Accept, and here is where it's going to give us that URL. So I'm going to copy that URL, click OK. Now when I open a new tab and paste it in, the script takes me to this site where I can put in a name. So let's just put in Cookie Monster. I can choose a file to upload. Uh, let me go ahead and upload this timesheet. Upload file. It says file uploaded successfully. Now if I go back to my Google Drive and go to My Drive, you'll notice, oh, here's my Google Dropbox 2. I open it up and here's the Excel spreadsheet that was just uploaded.